a cursed pop-up while surfing the web that may just end with your death. This is the Red Room Curse Explained. Let's talk about it. What's going down, Mouse Nation? Today's topic of discussion, the Red Room Curse. A Japanese urban legend so terrifying that it may make you want to quit the internet forever. And what makes this Japanese urban legend so great is that it's a modern one that arose with the internet itself in the 1990s, when Japanese consumers were buying computers in droves. Now let's imagine you as the main character in this story and you just bought your very first desktop. Just now, connecting it to the internet. You are immediately addicted to it, spending all your free time surfing the web. Others at school or at work have been doing the same. Many of your friends have been telling you about this urban legend called the Red Room. It piques your interest, so you search the web trying to find out anything you can about it. All of a sudden, this happens. The translation meaning, do you like? You close the window, but it pops up again immediately. Over and over again, you try to close it, but to no avail. Eventually, the message changes. It now is complete, saying, do you like the Red Room? Then you hear a voice speaking these words out loud. And suddenly, your room goes black. A list of names appear in red. You see the names of your friends that told you about the Red Room. You try and leave your room, but all exits are locked. Suddenly, you feel a presence behind you. Days later, your friends and family find out that something terrible happened to you. The same thing happened to the others who you discussed the Red Room with as well. You and all those others had taken your own lives painting your own rooms red with your own blood. Okay, you can turn on your lights and take a deep breath now. Eventually, the 2004 Sasebo slashing would cement the status of these rumors to urban legend. I won't get too deep into the details of this story as that's a video for another time. But an 11-year-old Japanese schoolgirl took the life of a 12-year-old classmate in their Nagasaki school. It would later be found that a Red Room bookmark was found on the murderer's computer. What makes it even more odd is that the young killer was said to have been a normal, well-adjusted young lady with no motive for her actions. So what do you guys think of the Red Room curse? Just another Japanese urban legend or something supernatural? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you on the other side.